During the 19th century, and indeed the 18th century, um, the preferred metal of choice was wrought iron, in other words, forged and made by hand. And that was before uh, cast iron was really used um, in gardens with the well-known foundries like Coalbrookdale up in Shropshire. Uh, but before then, it was all made by hand. And because Georgians and the early Victorians didn't actually have very good rust-inhibiting paints, many of these seats haven't survived. They've just rusted away. This particular example is interesting in as much as it's got a hinged footrest that comes down. And for many years we wondered why they had these, because there was no documentary evidence. Um, but eventually we figured out that they were actually wheeled around the garden, and there are wheels at one end, and ladies used to sit on them to see whatever sport was being played and the hinged footrest was there to make sure that their crinoline skirts didn't get wet. Rather charming and very practical.